We're back. We're back. The Jedi Council of Sonic Satisfaction checking out the amplifiers here for yes. you. It's a beheaded ML1. What's happened to it? He just chopped its head off. Ah. He said kill things, so I did yeah. <laughs> What if you eat guitars? <laughs> what are you? You're a guitarnivore. Guitarnivore. <laughs> That's a new Yeah! Word. I love it! A guitarnivore. That's be the next Chapman guitar. I said it first! <laughs> Trademark. Ding ding! Um, um, so we got the Vox VT40 Plus. VT40 Plus, which also came out at the end of 2010. A bit like all the other amplifiers, it's it's full of again amp models, pedal models as well, so that I can actually uh, replicate the idea of sort of stomp pedals in front of the uh, guitar amp. And we've got tons of effects. So actually, more effects and more pedals and more models on here than we've had on the um, either the Roland or the. <laughs> if you can hear something odd in the background, that's Lola my dog, uh, crying at the fact that we've barricaded her out of the video section. <laughs> Hello Lola, do you want to come in here? Because you can't. <laughs> you have to go and sit over there with Paul. Um, some of the things on here that uh, make it a bit different to the other amps that we've seen so far are Vox's patented uh, cool tube technology. So there is actually a valve in the output stage here. Um, this is our first valve, isn't it? So yeah, this is, um, I, I don't know if I've explained cool tube before, but essentially it's a, it's a preamp valve, but in the power section. So it's not running like a, a, a traditional tube power section would run. It's merely adding some flavor. The power output section on here is now variable from its minimum setting, which is down at like one watt or something, up to a maximum of 60 watts. So this is actually wow. the loudest one that we've had, or at least on paper. We've got lots of presets as well. So we've got 99 presets. So we've got plenty of uh, memory locations to store stuff in. We've got a tuner built in. And what size is the speaker, Lee? It's a 10 inch speaker. Again, the cabinet size is, is not as big as the, as the Fender Mustang, but it is a little bit bigger than the Roland Q. Bigger than the Q for sure. So what I've done here is there, there are three banks of presets, uh, orange, green, sorry, green, orange, and red. And essentially, the, the green bank is the basic kind of amp models. The orange bank is the amp models with effects in them. And the red bank is the fun one we, did, we used on an old video called Song Mode. And that's actually where they've sort of recreated artist tones and patches, which are sort of appropriate for certain songs. So what I'm going to do is, we haven't got time to go through all those, I'm going to go through the orange bank, which are the amp models with effects. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
I don't know. We're going through the presets here, so just something. It is the it is the orange mode, Californian clean on the red setting. If anybody really like that and wants to find it on a Vox VT, I'm trying to avoid the red setting. Yeah. Well, that sounds like uh, the theme tune to Big Trouble in Little China. You don't know the film Big Trouble in Little China? I do, but I don't remember the theme tune to it. It's just amazing. <laughs> John Carpenter wrote it and performed it. There was even a music video on MTV. Really? That's not very nice. <laughs> not very nice at all. <laughs> One more was in a cyberpunk band. Well, well, that's it. That's basically so we kind of whizzed through the it went whizzed. We went through the orange bank, so that was all the kind of basic, all the sounds with effects. So uh, don't forget, you can have a much more <coughs> simplistic settings on here. Go through all those without effects, song mode, heaps of stuff like that. So that's pretty much the rock bottom. Who's rock bottom? That was the name of the UFO song. Uh, awesome, mate, Michael Schenker. And he played it on a V like this, and he just like swung from. I'm right, aren't I, Paul? Yeah. yeah, I'm right. And he swung from side to side like that, and he's doing badass. Shall we uh, find out just how loud this bad boy can go? All right, I'm afraid. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Yeah. Batten down the hatches. <laughs> Broke Lee's knob off, didn't I, mate? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure it was the greatest sounding amplifier of the world. But it all, definitely, but it was definitely the loudest. Was the loudest wasn't That's it? the loudest so far. That was by, loud. By a few hectodecimal Jedi so, points. So, what are the scores? George does! Fox VT40 Plus looks. Um, 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 it's pretty inoffensive, but I wouldn't have said it's a real kind of looker. Uh, what if we I'm mark gonna, the others? You know I'm going to give it a five. We're going five. Well, I'm going to give it a five. You don't have to. I think it looks four. I think it looks at least as nice Three. as the cube. So you we think go, so? We go five point five. No, 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 no. That I tell you what, you put that next to a cube, the cube makes it look like a fool. How about we do? So how about it's five point five? Five. But but we do that. Where, <laughs> where we where we get rid of this this uh, because it's just so like this is five point poo. Yeah. <laughs> 5.1. Features. 5.1. There we are. 5.1. <laughs> <laughs> it's like um, I think it's got tons. I mean, it's actually got the m more features than any of the other amps. Again, except it doesn't, doesn't it really? have USP and it doesn't have um, Looper. Looper. 
But it's got more models, more presets, more effects on board. Okay, so, so it loses a looper, but it's got more effects, so seven. Seven again. Everything's coming out with a lot of features here, isn't it? How, How much, much is a VT40 Plus, please, Mr. Soundman? 169 So a little bit... 169 so, Tiny bit cheaper than a Cube, but a bit more expensive than the Mustang. More expensive than a Mustang? Fail, yeah. because the Mustang is much better than the Samba 5. In so my opinion. So we're going seven for value. So yes, seven and up. Okay, so loudness, be, loudness, it definitely, definitely won the loudest, the loudness competition, yeah, I'd didn't give it? Give it an eight out of loudness. I think it was really loud. Very loud. I'm going nine. Really? Which okay. is super loud. All right, nine. It. Portability. Portability. Well, it's, Pick it up. It's pretty small, isn't it? Let's move this microphone here. Uh, ah, ah, no, that's no, okay. I can lift it up. It's fine. They're all portable, really, aren't they? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure that this is it's necessarily the, the greatest category. Portability. It's great. <laughs> I think um, we ought to give it... Beware or the B orb will get you. It's. Um, I think we ought to give it... Maybe it's not quite as portable as a cube. Well, it's, it's, not, it's a bit bigger than a cube, isn't yeah, it? So but let's go, give it a seven. We'll seven again. We're like sevens. Okay. Tone. tone. Now. Previously, we didn't like the tones we, yeah, that much. I don't know why. We shot a video. Maybe we rushed the video. But we shot one of these before Christmas. And uh, virtually everything we tried to do with it, we didn't really like, did we? But actually, I rather enjoyed... Again, do you know what? I really like that heavily compressed clean sound. I didn't really think it was doing any of the high gain sounds terribly well. No. But it was, I would say that it's it's a close second. I probably would give it we maybe can't a, give it a six and a half. Again. Yeah, I agree with you. A six and a half maybe, because it, do you know what? It didn't do the clean quite as good as the Mustang. It didn't do the high gain quite as good as the Cube. It's but in it, between But it did do kind of everything yeah, pretty yeah. much okay, didn't it? Of course, it? this is entirely subjective. Yeah, so yeah. we go 6.5 for tone. Yeah. Um, oh, that's it. That, that's it. So that gives us... 41.6. 41.6. Spider! Okay. We've got Spider 4 here. Uh, Spider 4 is uh, the eldest of uh, the four amps that we're going to show you. This one's been out for about 18 months now. So you'll probably notice... Um, in terms of features, perhaps the other three amplifiers have loaded a few more knobs and buttons on, but it's still a, a good amplifier with a great sort of reliability track record. It's a slightly larger cabinet again, so more along the, the lines of the Mustang. 12 inch speaker, so we should get some good bass end out it's of it. 30 watts, isn't it? So it's enough watts. Yeah, 30 watts is pretty loud. Six different basic amp models that are split into sort of two modes each, so sort of 12 basic sounds. Uh, lots of effects, all your usual chorus, phaser, flanger, reverb, delay, all that kind of stuff. Um, four foot switchable um, presets that you can create a sound and save them to. Uh, one of the nice features on the uh, Spider, which is it has a, a dedicated foot switch that you can buy for it called an FBV Express. It's a slightly more expensive foot switch than, than uh, a, a normal foot switch, but essentially it's got four buttons for choosing your four sounds. Uh, it's got a wah wah pedal on it and it's got a tuner built into it. Uh, and because it uses this sort of proprietary um, foot switch connection, the wah wah on the FPV Express is actually really, really authentic. It's not like some of these MIDI wah wahs mm. that don't work very well. So it's a nice little optional extra. You're saying it comes free with some kind of foot switch right now? Basically, there's a, there's a, a pedal called an FPV2 which is a two button foot switch, plugs in here and allows you to step up and down through the, the four presets and that comes with it for free uh, from Andertons, not from everybody but from Andertons uh, and uh, the FPV Express is an optional extra, it's about £70 the, the FPV Express so it's good value when you think that it's essentially it's a wah wah and a tuner and a four way <coughs> foot switch all in one. Again I'm just going to scroll through the, the, the dozen or so presets that are on here, each one has got a, a layer of effects on it as well so you should get a reasonable kind of uh, idea of what the sounds are and I will uh, let Mr. Chappers take it away. <laughs> I just say it's evident there's a bit more low end, isn't there? You definitely, definitely, doesn't matter what you do to an amplifier, how you EQ it, or speaker. anything like that, if you've got a big cabinet with a big speaker, it's going to have more bass end than a little cabinet with a little speaker. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Good if you do it on open chords. Give me a clean sound. I quite like that. Um, go back to clean. Yeah. So if I go. I've dropped the E to an A. It's way too thin of a string, but it's good for open chords and stuff. So now we need to see how loud this is. I think this might hurt again. Oh god. Invented a new kind of sound. <laughs> It's not, loud, but not particularly yeah. pleasing at, at all. No, it's not. Uh, I don't. Not sure. Actually, any of them. That's. This is one of the problems with solid state and, or non-valve amplifiers, isn't they? Is they don't. The louder you turn them up, the less pleasing they often, or the closer they get to their maximum output, yeah, you the know less what, the, pleasing the, they sound. The Mustang was the best at a high volume, I think. Was it? I think it was. But in terms of actual loudness, was it's this... It's loud. It was pretty loud, wasn't yeah, it? It, it was wasn't really as loud, loud as the Vox, but no, it was... No, the Vox was the loudest, but that's second in command probably pretty loud. of the loud gang. <laughs> so, looks. Looks. Uh, i got to say, it looks all right. It looks pretty cool. Do you know what? There's a definite thing here. You're liking the Cube and the Spider because they're the more space agey ones. I'm liking the Vox and the Mustang because they're the more sort of. Authentic no, I, I would admit, ones. I think the Mustang looks the best of all, but I, I, I think. I think it looks as good as a Cube then, the, the Spider. Uh, no. So what do you want to give it then? Five and a half? To yeah, six? Five, five and a half. half. I, would, I think I'd be inclined to agree with you. I don't think it's an amazing. Features. Thing. Features, unfortunately, no I think the Spider is going to come out weak on features because it just hasn't quite got all the new loveliness that uh, some of the amps that came out six. at the back end of last year did. It's going to be a six for Yeah, features. I mean, there's still lots and lots of cool stuff on there. I guess it's got all the important stuff, headphones, socket. The stuff you can do with the Wawa through the FBV socket is uh, probably cleverer than any of the it's other It's clever, but you've got to spend money to get it. Yeah, yeah. So, so six for that. Of, yeah. Value. <coughs> How much is it worth? One, five, nine. Yeah, one, five, nine. £159, and there's a free Paul. How much is it worth? A lot. I love it. He's so in the moment doing his ML1 technique yeah. thing. So, well, but it does come with a foot switch that's worth about thirty pounds. With at the two moment. buttons that you have to pedal through to get the different sounds. Yeah, but you sounds. don't. But you don't get a foot switch. Then <laughs> you'd have to buy the foot switch for any of the other yeah. amps as an extra. So, I'm so I, I think, think it's fair that I we think go. It's fair that we go six. Oh uh, no, it's definitely got better value than that. Than the oh, okay. Because well, it's it's loud and seven point five. I think seven point five. I think it's harsh. Otherwise, I think it's actually quite good value. The spider. Loudness, which it was is the second, second loudest. in command so of we're loud. going eight. Yes, eight it. Portability. I think this is my least favourite uh, and pointless category, as they're heavy. all equally portable. No, quite heavy. What six? Um, yes. Six for portability. Yes. And tone. I suspect I, this is probably the one where it's not going to come out. I'm going to have to say. Nice, nice clean sounds. Okay, clean sounds. Okay, clean Completely sounds. Completely clean. Acceptable gain yeah. sounds, but none, none of the clean or dirty sounds stood out to me as being wow. I'd, I'd like that. I'd say five. 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 Yeah. I think you're probably right. <coughs> I think, yes, I'm. I'm going to agree with Chappers on that one. It's. Um, I suspect when Line Six Spider Five comes out, which it'll be, blow our know, minds. I've no idea when that is. I've just made it up. There might not even be a Spider Five. But if it does come out, I expect. Well, it has awesome. to be now. Yeah. You just promised the kids. <laughs> oh dear, Line 6 won't love me anymore. Um, 5.5, 5, 11.5, 5, 33, 38. 38. The winner is... The winner is... The Fender Mustang, the Mustang. 2. Mustang. Woo! I do like the way I've even written it, sort of slightly Fenderish. But that's actually, you've got Fender corporate writing there. I love it. I'm amazed that you don't work for Fender. <laughs> Maybe I will now. Maybe you will now, yeah. Yeah, I think that was that was a good test, actually, because we, we genuinely did that and stuck to the criteria. Yeah. We were honest, too. Yeah, um, and to be fair, it's pretty close anyway, so I don't think there's, you know, uh, just as an overall, I would still say that although the Mustangs come out best here, 
probably would still buy the cube for a metal player. Mm -hmm.